Am I crazy, or am I seeing a different LeBron James in terms of the ease by which he dismembers these teams? When he's playing like this, there's nothing you can do. It's hard for me to sit here and say this is the best LeBron James you've ever seen. Like, no player gets better in their 14th season. But he looks like a father playing with sons. It's hard to believe that he's better um, than when I got into the league a lot better. As you get older, you gain more experiences, you see more things. Yeah, I think he's getting better after that. He is. What was someone thinking when they did not vote him for the first game all NBA? This year, it was a career high rebound for game. I wear the number because of Mike. Uh, I think I fell in love with the game because of Mike. Sitting here today after breaking the all-time scoring record in playoff history is that I did it just being me. Don't send a double team. LeBron is going to overwhelm you physically. If you do, that's when he picks you apart with your passing of the three four shooter. For the first time in his career, he may be playing without expectations on himself and this monkey on his back. He has gotten himself into peak performance mode right at this time. He knows what he's doing, he knows how to put himself in this position. Having the most prolific playoffs of his career. He's been remarkable. Uh, I mean, he's, uh, seems like he, even tonight, I mean, he passed Jordan the all time scoring list in the, uh, in the NBA playoffs it was you know, pretty spectacular. But that's something that he's done. I've been here three years now, uh, seen his day to day excellence, what he brings to the game, what he means to the game as a whole, what he means to his organization as a team. And he brings it for us every night. He sets the tone, and tonight was no different. Get the hot pick and roll, and Andy's like, You actually think I'm gonna settle for this jump shot to the basket? Kelly O'Lenny, come here. Just for uh, all that dirty play, yeah, I still ain't even got to keep searching. Give a little arm out of the socket. Here, take that. You, did you hear what he told uh, Avery Bradley and, and uh, Marcus Smart? He said, I want y'all to go home tonight and put fertilizer in your shoes. Y'all are too small to go just came in here with the mindset that uh, we didn't really want to play more games. We talked about it shooting all year long. We don't, we're not going to take this for granted. And uh, once we get to the, the preparation for that jogger now, we got our West, then we'll be locked in. Well, for a guy who's going to his seventh straight finals, what is the first word of advice you give? Yeah, I know. Uh, what is the first word of advice you give to somebody who's not been there before? Uh, just live in the moment. Just live in the moment. Ron James, congratulations. Going back to the finals and to the Cleveland Cavaliers.